Hi everyone, this is Ms. Murphy again. Um, I am here to talk about what you need to do for your background, um, for your dynamic forms composition. So now you should be at the point where you have applied value to all of your forms and your winding object. Make sure that you had a consistent light source going throughout and go back in and see if there are any areas that you may need to erase to pull out lighter areas. Um, and also check throughout to see if there are any areas where you can create implied or actual lines by accenting the edges with a darker edge like I'm doing here. I am making an actual line, but when I do a implied line, I erase away the edge so that it makes it look more three-dimensional, just a little suggested line that you can barely see, but it's still there. So I usually take a moment to go through to see if there's any areas that I can do that, and also pulling out some of those darker areas like we did in the previous video. So I check my light source to make sure that it is consistent throughout and that I have applied value throughout every form erase out any highlights as needed. And now we're gonna continue on to the background. Do any blending that you need to do as well. If you, do, if you still see areas that you can blend a little better, this is a good time to refine. So we wanna make sure that the background coincides with your forms in terms of that light source. So what you're gonna do is think about the direction that you had, which mine was from this upper corner here and I had arrows that I erased, and now I'm going to apply value into the background and make it subtle, but also consider that I don't want it to detract from what I already have. I just want it to appear as if there are darker areas in the background, so I'm just gonna do this subtly, and I definitely want this area down here. I'm gonna use the side of my pencil a little bit here. And remember that you're gonna be blending it. You don't wanna lose out on your drawing, so I already see like I need to kind of go over this a little bit here. Um, and I'm just gonna shade in lightly here. I remember that I'm gonna go from dark to light over from the side. So I know that this is my darker area on this side of my paper. And I might even wanna make some areas like behind my shapes a tad bit darker as I go. But not too dark because you wanna make sure that you see your forms. You still wanna see your forms. You don't want them to disappear with the background. So I'm going in different directions as you can see on my paper here. And I'm already creating this gradual dark and light in my background. So I'm gonna take my pencil in different directions too. And as I go, what I like to do is I like to start blending with my tissue or my Q-tip because I don't want this to really be all about pencil marks in the background and I don't want it to be too dark. I just want it to be kind of soft and subtle behind my shapes, but still show a difference between my lighter side and my darker side of my paper. So I'm blending this in a little bit just to help me visualize a little better as I go. Tissue would work really well, especially with these larger areas that you have here. And sometimes I even take my finger in here and then I go back in, I pull out some of those edges again, because you again, you don't wanna lose sight of those. You don't want to erase any of those lines and edges that might be really dark, because they're gonna help you pull this together. But as you can see, I'm gradually getting that transition from dark to light. I know that's gonna be 
may be really dark in some areas. So I'm gonna go with my pencil in different directions in the areas that I want to be really, really dark. I'm gonna kind of focus on this little area here that I want to be really dark and go with my pencil in different directions so that I really get that nice and dark and I'm blending it around. I also have another darker area up here. So I'm gonna take my pencil up there a little bit. And remember, I don't wanna, I don't wanna lose the edge of my shapes here. I just wanna kinda get in here and create some contrast in the background with light to dark value. And I'm gonna do this and get lighter as I get over to the other side. Taking my time, that is. I'm just showing you how to get it started. And gradually bring it over and blend as you go. I like to say blend as I go with this because this is not a part where you definitely wanna to start to see. You wanna see clearly what you're doing so that when you blend it, you know that you get, you're get you getting like the right effect. So I kind of, sometimes I just drag it over a little bit like that as it's getting into the lighter area. And you can see, I still can see light coming in throughout here. Like I'm still gonna have some light areas. I have light hitting here. So maybe even like down here, I'm gonna lighten this up just a little bit. I just wanna show, you know, a little bit of light. So I take my, my eraser and I go throughout where I might see highlights hitting and I just erase that out. And then I go back in and I pull out those edges again that I need to. Remember, again, it's still additive and subtractive. Um, I'm gonna continue this as I go over to the other side. So I remember that um, I'm gonna make this a little darker, you know, throughout here, not too much. And as I get over to the other side, I don't want it to get too dark because remember, that is the side that my light source is on. And when I get to an area like this where I see it starting to blend together a little bit too much, what I do is I take my eraser and erase that out so that I can still see. Because remember, there's still light hitting throughout here. It's not gonna be all dark in the background, but we wanna show where those light and dark areas are throughout. So I kind of take away some of it. I add and subtract my light and dark areas. I'm gonna pull this out a little more, fix up any edges as I go. Um, and I'm gonna continue this on the other side, but as you can see, I'm already seeing a difference in my background as opposed to this side that just has the white this is what you wanna focus in on, applying those values in the background now without losing your details on your form. So what I mean is like go back in if you need to and don't go get too close to those edges. I usually go around them and then I blend close to them. So um, that's your next step with, you're gonna do this throughout your background again here like I have a really dark area, so I'm going to make this a little bit darker, not too much. So I'm going in here and pulling this out a little more. But as I get closer to my light source, I'm gonna realize that, and you're gonna notice that this is gonna get a lot lighter. So when I'm, I know it's darker down here, but up here, this is really gonna be lighter. So I'm just gonna demonstrate up here a little bit, and this is obviously a darker area, so I'm gonna, you know, this is where the shadow is hitting under my form, but then I know my light source was coming in from the top corner here. So you wanna kinda coincide with where you know you have the darker side of your forms and create those shadows underneath and then blend out to the lighter areas. I'm gonna keep this really bright over here and then much darker in here as I go. I'm not, I'm reducing the pressure as I get lighter. And now I'm gonna to blend together to see how it looks and then erase any areas that I think are necessary 
to erase. You might even wanna leave some areas like this where it's not as much of your blending, but it's still um, showing a little bit of light to dark. So notice that I can still see my forms. I'm not going in super, super dark. All I'm doing is accentuating those darker areas with my value in the background. Just like so. So I'm gonna continue to look at this. I'm almost done. I only have this little corner to go but I wanna make sure again that I don't lose any of my details and if there's anything I need to erase out that I wanna pull out in terms of lighter areas, then I can do so. Keeping in mind that I want this to look like I took my time with my neatness throughout. Um, but this is an example of what you wanna do next for your background. Remember to align with those darker areas, like I was looking at the dark side of my sphere here, looking at the dark side of my cone, and think about when we created shadows and we practice and where you might have, but it's, they're not sitting on a surface, they're floating, so it's a little different. You're just sort of accenting where you would see some dark shadows if they were floating objects. So that's what you wanna keep in mind, and remember to keep that light source um, in the same direction as you go. And I'm gonna finish down here the same way. And this is a really dark area down here because this is where the light is hitting kind of dark. So I'm gonna continue that. And remember, look how I'm holding my pencil on an angle to get this to get a little darker, not too much, but just enough. And then I'm going to blend this out. So this is your final step. And then you wanna go back and refine anything, erase any highlights and fix any edges as needed to ensure that you have quality craftsmanship in your work. So even though you might say you're done, I'm almost done. I still see a few areas that I'm gonna blend I still see areas that I'm going to make edges darker and see what I can do to highlight, pull out any further details needed in my drawing. And there you have it. Good luck with your last step.